Hello, Internet, and welcome once again to Insane Ian Has Opinions About Beverages or Something. Or Insane Ian Taste Test Beverages. Or something else. Whatever. This week, I've got uh, three very exciting, very tantalizing beverage choices for me to try. I'm very excited. And apparently sugar has gotten into my system already. Yay. These are from the Cicero Beverage Company, which is a local beverage company here in Chicago. I found these at the Mariano's up the street from where I live. And holy crap, are these weird sounding. We've got Candied Bacon Cream Soda. We've got Chicago Style Caramel Apple. Didn't know Caramel Apple was a Chicago styled thing. And Chocolate Hazelnut Soda. Chocolate Hazelnut Soda. Cicero Beverage Company. You do you. I'm excited to try these because I've been looking for things that don't quite seem like they should be soda flavors. And the fruit ones were, were kind of in that wheelhouse, but these, man, oh boy. I don't know which one I'm gonna try first. I'm saving the chocolate hazelnut for last, so the choices for first are kind of tied between the two of, of caramel apple or candied bacon. I think I'm gonna try caramel apple first, because that's the first one I saw on the shelf that piqued my interest. And that one was sitting by itself. Uh, there's a rack of, of single bottle sodas uh, at the Mariano's, and they usually have the like brands together, but that one was by itself. And then a couple of the other Cicero flavors were lower on the shelf together, the other two that I have. And uh, they intrigued me, and so I bought them. And now I'm, I'm going to drink them in front of you and tell you what I think, because that's the whole point of this show if you haven't been keeping up. Fine, then. The caramel apple one is in a clear bottle, so I'm not going to pour it out to show you what it looks like. But the other two, I most certainly will because those bottles are tinted. Very simple. Carbonated water, sugar, natural and artificial flavor, citric acid, sodium benzoate, caramel color, FDNC yellow number five, and FDNC blue number one. Because yellow and blue make green. We remember that from the Ziploc commercials. <laughs> God, I'm old. Chicago-style caramel apple. I... All right. They tell me to drink. Guess I'm going to. I believe... Ah! These might actually need a bottle opener. Ha <laughs> ha! Fool me once! And then apparently fool me again. Bottle opener. Bottle. Bottle cap. All right. That is a caramel smell. I mean, caramel coloring is not an unusual additive to have in a cola or a beverage like this, but uh, that's pretty strong. And it's a little sweeter smelling than, say, Moxie or something like that, which I reviewed in the previous video. This is just a kind of a sweeter caramel, like a caramel you would find on a caramel apple. I say caramel, some people say caramel. Caramel. Not caramel, you're missing a letter. But hey, if that's how you want to pronounce it, it's fine too. Whatever, I'm not gonna shun you for that. I'm gonna just try the soda now. Maybe I should just do that. Yeah, all right, cool. It's a really, really strong, really strong smell. Getting a hint, very small hint of apple, but the caramel is overpowering. This is going to be very, very sweet. I can tell already. Oh man, that is like liquid caramel. Wow. I'm not getting an apple flavor off of that at all, but I am very much getting a lot of caramel. It's almost like syrup. It's the syrup flavor I wanted with the waffles and syrup Oreos. Wow, man. Man, that's trippy. That's... Sure. All right. Caramel apple soda. That's, that's not bad, though. Chicago-style caramel apple. 
I mean, that is what it says on the label, Chicago style. Is that a thing Chicago's known for? Chicago's known for deep dish pizza, hot dogs, they're known for Italian beef, and they're known for Chicago style popcorn, which if you haven't had, is caramel popcorn with cheddar cheese popcorn mixed together. I had that when I first got here, and it's delicious. You wouldn't think, ah, sure, those two things. Get it. Uh, if you're in Chicago, go to Garrett's. Get that. That's the friggin' bomb. Regardless, I don't think caramel apple is a thing that Chicago is known for. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. Ha! Ah, but this is not bad. I enjoy this. This is this is decent. It's very sweet. I will be now up for several days. Man, you feel it on your lips. Like they're sticking together, but they're not. It's just a very caramel taste. It's, it's like biting into a caramel apple. That's remarkable. I dig that. Next we have Cicero Beverage Company's Candied Bacon Cream Soda. Ah, so <laughs> I just noticed on the on the different labels, it's a it's a, a city view of Chicago. On the caramel apple, the river is green. You know, like that scene in The Fugitive. They can dye the river green on St. Patrick's Day. Why can't they dye it blue the other 364 days of the year? In the chocolate hazelnut, see them drizzling chocolate into there. Very clever. On the candied bacon one, the river is a strip of bacon. All right. Now, they impressed me with the caramel apple. Let's see how they do with candied bacon. All right, so evidently I'm just an idiot. I couldn't get the lid off of the caramel apple, but this one twisted off. It's gonna be hit or miss with any beverage for me now, from now on. Unless it's clearly a twist off cap, I'm going to shred my hand and then look pathetic trying to use a bottle opener. I'm getting a, a hint of the, the candy smell. <laughs> like, yeah, how candied bacon smells, but not too much of a bacon smell, just more of the, the weird glazed crispness. This one is the same ingredients, except the different colors. No yellow number five and blue number one. This also smells like a very sweet tasting cola. This is, I mean, and it's already a cream soda too, so that's, there's gonna be that. Now I will say, out of all three of the bottles, this one is super full. This one's filled all the way almost to the top, so that it's right there for me to smell. And it's just, it's just super full. The other ones, well, this one's almost all the way to the top, too. The caramel apple one wasn't all the way, but these two are just about right to the top of the bottle, man. And they're the tinted bottles. So let's take a pour and see what it looks like. <laughs> Is that a little healthy pour there? Decent caramel color. Not, you know, kind of what you expect for a, a, a cola, but it's a cream soda, so it's just a darker cream soda. I guess the smell I'm getting off of it is kind of just the cream soda smell. Not really a candied bacon, because when you say candied bacon, there's not bacon that's candy. Although, most of us eat it that way. But, uh, yeah. Let's try this. Bottoms up. <laughs> so, yeah. That is a bacon cream soda. It's not a, it's not an overpowering bacon flavor. It's not like it's... This beverage tastes like I'm drinking a meat milkshake. Thankfully, no. There is that hint of, of bacon in it. There's that, that hint of candied bacon in it, and it's really tasty. It's a good cream soda. Uh, it tastes like the cream soda would normally, but just with that hint of extra flavor. Now it's kind of rocking. I kind of dig that. After these two sodas, I will now be up for a solid week. Very not bad. And finally, we're doing the Cicero Beverage Company's Chocolate Hazelnut Soda. This one is going to be different because, I, you know, I've had chocolate coke. You know, Denny's and other places, other fountain places that serve fountain drinks will put chocolate in your coke or, or chocolate in your Sprite or whatever. You know, just a little flavoring, a little vanilla, a little chocolate. They do different flavorings for different sodas. But I've never had chocolate hazelnut. And I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to taste the hazelnut in with the chocolate in this soda. I don't know what a hazelnut would taste like in a liquid form, because that's weird, but we're gonna try this. Again, kind of a full bottle, man. It's right, right up to the top. 
That is a strong chocolate aroma. And there's a very small hint of hazelnut. Huh. All right, cool. Man, that is that is a rich, rich chocolate smell. Nothing, nothing unusual in the ingredients, at least in the ones they tell us. We're on to you, Cicero. Let's take a look at the pour. I say that like I'm going to a map with a channel. Sure. That is a dark, rich color. Almost blends in with the shirt. That is a, that is a distinct chocolate scent. You ever make chocolate milk as a kid and pour half the chocolate into your milk? What that smells like, I speak from experience. Man, Cicero, you've got a handle on these flavors, man. Each one of these tastes just like you'd expect them to taste, and not in an overpowering way, but just in a, yeah, that's what the label said. Good on you, man. That is a very, very good chocolate-flavored beverage, carbonated beverage, with chocolate. And there's, a, there's just this very, very subtle hint of hazelnut in there. It's really good. After these three bottles, I'll be up for a solid month now. I'm never sleeping again. Sugar. All right, so thanks for joining me this time on Insanian Taste Test. If you like this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing with the subscribe button over there. And if you want to check out any of the previous videos I've done, those are right here on this playlist. And please consider supporting me on Patreon. With your support, I can bring you more videos and a whole lot more. Thanks so much. See you next time. I am never sleeping.